Given the fact that Top Star HA styles can request and be moved to a different brand without issues, show that no real concrete plans exist for any of the stars. Uh, you could tell that no concrete plans exist by watching the TV show. Did Elias forget that Seamus was revealed as the culprit who ran him over and that it wasn't Jeff Hardy? Yes. Yes. They did a storyline where Elias got hit by a car and Seamus framed Jeff Hardy. And now Elias is back and he comes on TV and he says, I'm going to beat up Jeff Hardy. Charlie, who's not even on SmackDown, says, actually, we don't even believe it's Jeff Hardy. The culprit is still at large, she says. So I guess she kind of watches SmackDown. And then Elias basically says, Hell, I don't care. I'm going to beat up Jeff Hardy anyway. So yes, this is exactly like when Seth Rollins and Murphy removed the eyeball of Aleister Black. And Aleister Black decided that he was mad at Kevin Owens because Kevin was home at the time, as opposed to being angry at the people who actually took his eyeball out. In storyline, Elias is more angry at Jeff Hardy than he is at the man who actually ran him over with a car. What do you want me to do? First says, I'm sure T-Bar will be on Twitter defending this ridiculous booking of retribution getting drafted to the show they intend to destroy. He did make fun of it on Twitter. He said something like, let's see how this works out for you. And he's right. In storyline, completely ridiculous. Lana winning in the main event of Raw was bizarre to say the least, this person says. But then they immediately told us it wasn't so important, so Drew and Randy closed the show. Dude, when they started that women's battle royal for a shot at Asuka, and I realized that's the main event of Raw. And I'd already heard that Lana won. I couldn't even believe my eyes. Can you imagine finishing with that match on Raw on Monday night? <laughs> Why? Did, what matters? What matters? And by that point, maybe... Well, that doesn't for sure. Maybe they're treating it like Saturday night's main event now. At least for, for this week, they're treating it like Saturday night's main event where it's like, oh, okay, if you make it till 1 o'clock, cool, but we're going to front load the show. And we know everybody just skips out and, and watches something else to watch in the third hour anyway, so we'll just do this. But absolutely moronic. Fourth time through the table, though, by... Uh, by Nia Jax there for Lana. And, and Lana, apparently, look at her, with her, her boxing skills there. I'm not sure exactly what happened there with her, her KO power of the punch there knocking out Natty's tooth. Dude, when I look at this Raw show, they had an Owens versus Aleister Black no disqualification match that was a good match with a finish. But they couldn't close the show with that. They also had a three-way with AJ, Jeff, and Seth Rollins, which granted had a bad finish, but I mean, you could have ended the show with that. They had New Day versus Ziggler and Rude for the tag team titles, which in fact, not only was a good match, but the stipulation was that if Ziggler and Rude win, they're taking the belts to the other brand. They could have ended the show with that. But no, they ended with a... Women's Battle Royal won by Lana. That was your main event of Raw.